guys. I am getting ready to winterize my deck. Uh, it's not quite ready for winter yet, obviously, but a lot of my plants are looking kind of, I don't know, spindly, leggy, uh, whatever you want to call it. Looking pretty sparse and it's time. So maybe if you've never done this before, this is a good opportunity to learn what to do and how to save some of your plants for next year, like fuchsias or geraniums. Um, they're beautiful and they're expensive. So this is a good way to make sure that you have that same beautiful plant next year. Okay, so the first thing that I do is take down all of my fuchsias. As you can see, they're pretty sparse looking. Uh, I am very weary of spiders and checking. I do not like spiders and this is the time of year where they're really everywhere on the plants. So yeah, and I didn't use gloves. This happens every year. But you take down your plants and I do one kind at a time. So first I do my fuchsias and I gather them all up together in one area first. Okay, so these fuchsias here, my husband actually took down for me. They're hanging on hooks in the tree there, but a little high for me to reach. So he actually took those down ahead of time for me. Okay, so once you have all of your plants gathered up together, then what I do is I kind of just grab a bunch of the leaves, so the stems together, and just cut. I'm not careful for where I'm cutting, looking for growth or anything like that. I just, I'm looking for a general shape and length. And just a bit past the edge of the pot is about where I cut them. And this is uh, years of experience in floral shops and working in plant nurseries as well. You don't have to be that careful with it. As long as you're not cutting them too short, then just a little past the, the pot edge is what you're gonna cut. Okay, so you can see here again, I'm grabbing groups of stems and cutting to a basic length. And what this is going to do is it's gonna give your plant a chance to go into dormancy for winter. And what that really means is it's going to give it a rest and uh, kind of like a sleep for winter to, um, to come back stronger and healthier. And it, and it gives the, ch the plant a chance to uh, save its energy and with all of that extra stuff on there You want the new growth to come back next spring without all of this extra So that's why we're cutting it off and giving the plant a good healthy start for next year Okay, so as you can see, they've all been cut to, a, to the basic same length. And I'm not gonna worry about removing the leaves or anything from the pots right now, uh, the dead leaves in the bottom. I'm just gonna water them really, really well. And through the past couple of weeks, I've, not, I've been watering them less and kind of slowing down their watering. And if you're not ready to cut yours back yet, start slowing down on their watering now. And, and that's going to start getting them ready to go into dormancy. So the next thing I'm going to do is gather up all of my hanging 
uh, geraniums. And I do have other geraniums that I pull and bear root for the winter. And I, I can show you guys that in a separate video if you'd like. Uh, let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Uh, but for now, for the hanging geraniums, I'm just going to go ahead and gather them all up the same and cut them about the same as I do the fuchsias. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut the geraniums back to about the same as the fuchsias, uh, that basic shape and size. And that's gonna give it a good chance to winter over and save all of its energy for new shoots for next spring. Okay, something else I'm gonna do at this time is I'm gonna remove all my cushions and such from my deck. And we're starting to get a little bit more rain here in Washington State. And it's just damp and wet outside, so it's time to remove those and kind of gather up my plants, uh, the ones that will be out there for fall until the first frost. And I just kind of gather those up in a new area and just clean up my deck overall. Okay, so I feel like I need to explain. The reason that I move the plants that are going to stay out there uh, up to the first frost is because I'm overall cleaning and there's a lot of leaves and dirt and you know, uh, that it's the time of year where things are starting to die back for winter. So there's a lot of leaves and flowers that have fell off and stuff so I just want to move everything kind of gather them up into a new area um, so you know you can see here it's just really really messy and dirty uh, by the end of summer so I just like to clean it up and create new seating areas and kind of freshen everything up for fall because I do love to sit out there and read and drink my coffee and you know, the afternoons are still warm, so I, I want to enjoy my deck still. Okay, so it's looking a lot more empty now, but that's okay. My fuchsias and my hanging geraniums are all cut and ready to go in the greenhouse for winter. So I'm okay with my deck like this. <laughs> so at this point, after you cut all of your plants and water them really well, uh, you're gonna wanna store them either in a greenhouse, a basement, or a garage. Uh, you can even store them in a place in your home that is out of the way and it's not going to be you know, hindering you because they're not beautiful as they're going through winter. You're going to want to water them about every three to four weeks. Um, I've actually forgotten to do that a few times and, and it's okay. In the spring you're going to start to see some of that real lime green leaves coming out again and stems. That's when you're going to know as soon as all danger of frost has gone you can bring them out and start watering them regularly and keeping them covered at night in the beginning and pretty soon they're going to be blooming in full green. The best thing to give them in that stage is fish fertilizer. It's going to really help those roots and the greenery really uh, take off and then you can start focusing on the blooms. So. Anyway, I hope this video helps. I hope you guys are all set for this coming winter, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.